it's a lot easier to stretch up than it is to bloody crouch down when I'm struggling so yeah executive decision so um see you after dinner all right if you just look in there you can see the house they're all smashed I can get all my cuts done I can measure them I can cut them with the sawzall and I can get this finished Happy Friday the 4th of August and we're on a unscheduled trip back to this job which is funny enough the um, one of the videos went out last night and somebody mentioned that that roof would look good with a couple of skylights in it and when I take you in you'll see what's happening with that roof it's looking very nice as you can see the Robbies are here they've been here a few days carrying on from where we left off so I'm here because um, there's a crack in the wall upstairs, which was, um, wasn't us. <laughs> you might think it wasn't us. It was uh, the dodgy beams above. So when all the bathroom stuff's come off, there's a crack in the wall, so Paul wants me to sort that out. And the two pikes in the extension, when the roof come off, basically the two uh, triangles have just come loose and fell off. So I'm here to come back and re-bed them, re-cut them, patch up around put you up underneath the roof where the roof comes down and the actual roof did have a uh, wall plate on the outside so um, these roofs that Robbie and Robbie do these warm roofs they have a wall plate on the outside anyway so it's just a bit of patching um, I'm using their scaffold and that's pretty much it I'll take you in and see what's happened so far and where we're up to um, we're sort of working together, I'm using the scaffold, they're working off the scaffold, putting the glass units in the roof today. So it's, there's not a lot to do but it's going to be, it's going to take a while because it's not straightforward. So um, I'll take you in. There you go, pile of shite's getting bigger. Now there's a toilet on it and a roof. Ready for the grab. It's a bit messier than last time we were here. There's the old purling that was in there, which was um, just wedged up with a bit of wood. So, I think the door's the last today. Ooh. Down the roof. Just, if I lift you up, just make out the first hole for the first unit. And all that brickwork's dried nice. And then, um, yeah, the, um, the window's dried nice too. Looking nice. Spark's been done his first fix, so cracking on. And Robbie, the Robbies have put the timber around the, the beam, and the electrician's been in and done his first fix. I think I've just said that, but I'll take you in and show you anyway. Oh, yeah, there's sand here. I forgot we had sand. Oh, that's handy. Bear that in mind. So it's just blocks. We need a few blocks. <laughs> well these two are celebs now he gets stopped at school so ask if he's been on YouTube <laughs> there we go look at the light with just one there's going to be three it's going to be brilliant this and then you see the stud there where the units are going to go in everything follows around like this it's going to be nice and then your two French doors so I'm getting all this shite off Take all this off, recut it, rebed it, same this side, and then just patch these bits. So, here we go.
five to ten. So I'm a bit behind, but I've been helping the Robs get the glass in. So we can see much better now. Very nice. Transformed it in here now. So got me got all my blocks down, cleaned up the majority of them. The sand outside. The robbers have given me a bag of cement. So I'm gonna nip off to Fairwoods and get about ah, get about a dozen fiber lights and build the bulk of the pikes to the fiber lights and cut the thermalites with the saws all. And then these bits in between as well. Just to just to clamp this wall down, get it all tight together. So yeah, off I go and get me bits. Right, done me fair run. Been to put a bit of juice in. Get myself a bit of juice. A latte. Got the blocks. Blocks, Jim, but not as you know it. They had no freaking fiber lights. The three fiber lights, so I've ended up with these things. So, next best thing. We don't like them and they're more expensive, but that's all they had. There's no way I'm putting solid concretes up there on top of the um, thermalites, so these are better than the thermalites that we took out. They're still not, not what I'd like to have got. They're fine, they'll do the job, but I prefer them. Every time I prefer them. But they had none. Well, they had three. So I'm going to get these loaded out into the house. I'm going to move the mixer around to the back where the sand is. I'm going to get a mix chucked in and I'm going to get cracking. And while, while it's happening, I'm going to drink my brew. Right, when you do the mix, that's not how you want your sand. Absolutely sand. Even how good sand juice or something like that. The way, the way where Feb works is trapping air in the, in the mortar, and that water is to all the air out of the sand. So it takes ages to mix to get a good mix out. So let's put some Feb in and get this cracking. After a lot of faffing, I'm set up. We're using the sawzall to cut the rate cuts, so I don't have to keep getting up and down. Because obviously, my oppo is still in Spain, not Spain. Alex is still in Sweden. So the scaffold's up, loaded, all the gears on top, motors up there. I've just climbed up there and realised it's too high. So I'm going to be on my knees for the bottom bit. So I've had to go and get my cushion for my knees. So when we swap back to this side, I think I'm going to drop the planks to here because I'd rather be reaching up with a hop up or a crate than crouching down for the whole thing. So um, the rob's up there working away getting the, uh, it's all watertight now. Once it's flashed it's ready, completely finished. Um, it's all strapped down, I'm going to build in under the panels and as you can see, let me step back, you can see, if you remember the old videos, how much lighter it is now and don't forget it always looks darker with block walls, it's got to be, once it's um, plastered and painted it brightens it up and you've got two windows to come out down to full French doors. Because this windowing stuff that's on the windows is not letting a lot of light in anyway. So you're going to have, that's going to go and you're going to have double the 
double glazing, double the glazing. So it's really going to brighten the place up. I'm not sure what colour the kitchen's going to be, but the kitchen's going to go from here into the corner, wrapping around to there, and then this here. There's going to be a, a peninsula unit here, so it's going to be lovely. So you've got that in into the kitchen bit, then you're going to have a dining area up here and a lovely nice square lounge so it's a lovely setup now I'm pretty sure Paul will let me back to um, film it when it's finished because it's only down the road this one so there's a good chance we'll get to see this one complete I think this um, kitchen's coming next month which is September we're currently 4th of August and the sun's shining today so good for the lads getting the roof on so yeah I'm all set up I'm going to get this side up, then I'm going to have a quick lunch and straight back over to the other side, get that done, and then it's up into the bathroom above there to sort this crack out, which is above there. And the crack is pre us, the cracks from when they did the doorways here and made a right mess. So um, let's get up there and get this done. Right, <laughs> didn't want to do this, but <laughs> strip the scaffold, take everything off, put it, drop the planks, and put it back on again because I cannot cope with that. That's too much as I can do on my knees, bends over. I need to be able to mark these cuts and do them properly. So, like I said, I'll drop everything down and probably stand on the crate to reach to the top because um, it's a lot easier to stretch up than it is to put the crates down, and I'm struggling. So, I'm um, just going to drop everything down, down to the next level and get all these cuts done. Alright, if you just look in there, you can see the house. They're all smashed. Because they're not actually smashed. That's what I showed you when they toothed in. They only took half of the tooth out. So basically all those halves, as you can see down there, the gobbles stuck on the back of them, are actually just closures stuck in. So they just cut the brick right down. No wonder they cracked. It's, it's just like a 50 mil slither of face and a piece of brick. And that's all the way down that. So it's a good job we repaired the ones we did. So it's a good job that we repaired the ones we did. Excuse the noise. So yeah, I've done all my, I'm, I'm back down now, this is miles better. I can stand up, I can get all my cuts done, I can measure them. I can cut them with the sawzall and I can get this finished. I can get over there, let's get this uh, stand.
Oh, recording 6%. Right, one o'clock. All done. There's just a 10 mil gap above that. That's for Robbie to foam it, to seal it all up. Soundproofing and insulation. And then these parts here, where I've just cut the angle, um, it's mortared up between the frame and the wall, so it grabs the wall. Just to give the wall a bit of extra strength. And you've got all the straps that attach to the roof, they're built in. They're gonna be screwed in everything. So, that's it. That's done. That's done. We've got one, two, and the other pipe to do. So I need to pull my finger out. It's one o'clock. I'm gonna have a quick dinner. Um, probably move everything over first. And I won't be making the same mistake. I'll get Robbie and Robbie to lift it with me. Keep it the same height. It's gonna be off the wall here because of this. But it is what it is. We'll have to manage. So, um, yeah. We'll get a cracking on this after dinner. Scrub that, I'm gonna do these first. Work my way across. Pull it across, do that, pull it across, do that, then do that. Yeah, executive decision. So, um, see you after dinner. Right, after lunch check, can we get a bit of a charge? I've had a recharge. No coffee though, because I forgot me. Took me coffee to fill up, and I forgot to bring it back. So good job I enjoy my um, me Costa this morning, because that's it. Back on the juice. So yeah, these last two little cuts to do under here. And I'm going to go over here, get this whacked in. It's going to be a lot quicker this time, because I'm going to have to get in the right place. So it looks smart, it's a lot safer, it's all tied in. Oh yeah, there's no nothing tying this wall in. I'm not I'm sure, I don't know about here. It's not pocket. Oh yeah, it's pocketed in. It's actually tied in into pockets. But um, the pipes weren't tied in at all, unless that one went in at the top. But anyway, I've got um, two screwing ties in each one. So um, yeah, let's crack on and get this get this gone. I'm trying to get home a bit earlier today. Back to time lapse while I get everything sorted.
then we're done. It's five past five. <laughs> Can't get finished before five o'clock. It's been a long day, but it's been a lot of messing about, especially on my own. So, there's the roof. Looking smart. See all the leads in. I think one row of tiles I've got to do. So the glass went in this morning. I helped them with that. So, um, we'll default. Come do Lally. You wouldn't you wouldn't do anything before and now it's pretty going on YouTube on its own. But there, there you go. I can't see probably what I've got you who held up. Looks smart, it doesn't have to bring in a lot of light into the extension there. It's very well insulated that roof as well. So um you sit you've seen on the time that's where I got up to. I managed to get it all finished. But um Robbie and Robbie want to get off so the um they had the keys so they've locked up and I've left, left me just my stuff to tidy up so I can't give you a little walk round inside so that's what we're up to I think we're done now the um, the patching in the bathroom didn't get done but um, that block works moved a long time before now and it's just a crack between, down two blocks so it's not going anywhere you probably do more harm start knocking more blocks out to replace them so I'm just going to tell Paul it'd be fine just to render over it, not render over it, plaster over it, or even if he wants to, just put some um, some no nails into the into the gap, and then when he plasters it, it'll be fine. It's not going anywhere. He's got the steel underneath it now. So I'm going to get in this van and I'm going home. Oh yeah, Alex has had a swanning around Liseberg in Sweden today on all the roller coasters, jammy bugger. In my near, had a doubt in Gothenburg. So I'm. I'm gonna pack up, get in the van, and go home. So I'll pass you to Alex in the living room for the outro. Well, it seems we for, well I forgot to film an outro again, so from from the office. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. It's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. This has been Brick Lane with Steve and Alex, and we'll see you in the next one.